Okay, now put your T square up. So how much? What would you expect? Test hole. Yeah. Now, let's lay this on flat. Okay, now we got to bring it back in. See, you're going to go in one sixteenth of an inch. And we'll drill a new hole. So, when you get most of your metal cut away, how do you keep it uh, steady? Very carefully. If you can reach in with a backing block, you might want to do that, I guess. Well, it's stretched between the ribs. Yeah, that's right. No, it, it, it works. It, it works. Well, it you just don't put pressure right there. See, okay. once you get the hole in there, you don't have to put any pressure. Right. You, you just turns, drag it around. You just turn it with your wrist. Yeah. The problem is this thing's flexing. Yeah. It makes right. it real yeah. difficult I mean, to do. But it's based off of this, and I'm supposed to metals cut away. Doesn't it start to wobble in there? And no. Yeah. No. Only, only if you're trying to push it. If you're just rotating it. Could it be? 
Yes. Yeah. That's what files are for. That's why you don't lay out mm -hmm. lay under the wing all the time. You don't feel so bad. I was thinking maybe when you get halfway around, put a piece of paper there. I was holding it steady. This cuts. Oh, $100 router bits until I bought the $30 Harbor Freight ones and they dull in about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I bought a good set. I've made cabinets for three houses and they're still sharp. Uh, I normally don't cut metal over the carpet. Because it goes into the carpet. And if you ever walk across this with socks, you'll find out why. Or you get a, or what happened was I had a, no, what I happened to me was a piece of aluminum shaving. I was scooting around on my butt under an airplane. And I had like this little, what is it? Luann, yeah. would you look at this? I don't know, went to the doctor and he pulls out a little piece of aluminum out of my butt. Yeah, but this is steel, so you can take a magnet and pick this uh, Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> so Normally, cheetahs are over here anyway. And we won't do that on the wing. We'll yeah, you will. We'll snip and then file it. Yeah. Maybe a little blue tape on the bottom of that thing so it turns and then scratch the thing yeah. out the front of it. <laughs> yeah, the bottom. A little blue tape. Yeah. I'm going to sand the whole area when I paint it anyway. So oh, it's a different one. Oh, you're yeah. got to sand it and after that's an aladine itself. <laughs> Perfect. Here, hold it, hold it flat. Yeah. That's good. Pretty perfect. good, huh? Perfect. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Now the What's the one word you don't want to hear your mechanic say? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want you to do that. You're hitting the rib. Ken, you're hitting the rib. Can you come the other way? If, if I would normally do this, but I did the last one with a uh, hit a fence post. Yeah. The guy threw it in no, I'm worse off the other way because I got the vent in there. Yeah. Okay, give me the short one. Everything, but I use I use accelerators for the paint part. Okay. Okay. Now I need the. Got it in the tool. Uh. Here, 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 here. It's also probably glued to the wing on the bottom there, right? Okay. We bridged all the way across. Oh, yeah, yeah, the turn buckle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get out of here. I beat it in the morning. We beat it in the evening. All over the wing. Now, 
some schmo would go ahead and fiberglass that, wouldn't they? Oh, oh yeah. That he hit. Oh. How much of a dent did you put in the hand? Oh, it wasn't me. Uh, Where's Tim? You're on the way to the bathroom. Oh. Oh, it's a moving experience for my this morning. I know we don't put too much to laugh. What's the thickness of the alignment? Uh, that's 025, this is 02. Okay. I saw when we were, when my dad was stationed in Spain, a guy wrecked the Jaguar. And he took the Delta pilot and he took it to the shop. He comes back to look at it. They had taken the quarter panel off and cut it into pieces. And there were guys with little mallets and they were straightening every piece. And then they welded it all back together. And when it was on the car, you would have never have known it would ever go back to the shop. Not a bit. They'll, they'll back out a bit, but I've tried dry ice. And just they gave this guy in Birmingham who has. Does business with um, business jets that get dents on the leading edge slats. Wow. And they can't take off unless the dent's out. Yeah. And he has an electromagnetic process that sets up a high power eddy field on both sides of the aluminum. Okay. And he collapses the outside field yeah. or the That's inside field. And the outside field. Oh, cool. Two different temperatures then. Let's do it. You know. And he says, Oh, we got to knock this paint area down. I said, Hey. He said, What do you use? And I said, Probably 320, uh, 220 at the wildest. Yeah. And he says, Hey, Ken, tell them the Hawaii rivet story. The steel rivets. The nail head. Oh! I'm going to try to keep from gripping this shit in my eyes. Alright, we got okay. a little play. You want get it center, center? Get her. It'll, it'll center. It's perfect. It, once you get her. I had it up there once. Lock in? Yeah. No. At the front, to the front. Yeah. Stand by. Throw right between my fingers yeah. there. Uh -huh. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. No, no, no. You're going to drill oh, through this. Here, right? let, let me to drill ten. There you go. Move your hand. Okay, sorry. No, not yours. All right. <laughs> Somebody has their hand right between the... All right, quick okay, off. Pop a you want, you get, many got the little red dot on top? Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Which one am I going to do? Okay. 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 okay, now I want to do this one? <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Yeah. No, this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Yeah, they may sell after the ones there, too, like it, it um, advanced or... Uh, um, yeah. Okay, now. I think you're going to be the next Avenger. Pico me. It's like when you build an RV, there's about a million on the way. I get really good at Clico. Come on, get in the hole. See, if Costco was an RV guy, he would have known exactly where the dimples were. I'll be building. I got a big, I got a big dimpling arm and a table for it. You know, because I'm, pump, I'm probably going to have an RV one day. But I'm going to buy one already flying. Are you partial pressure or we need your battery? Partial. I, I'm just partial trigger. <laughs> That's, I charged the battery last night. It's fresh. Then come aft a little. You're drilling a pretty good angle. There you go. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, now. Okay, pull them out. Um, you got a deep burring drill? Yes. Paint. Okay. Hey, Jimmy. Now, this one's ready for prep. We're going to chromate the inner ring. I'll give you the outer ring. All these. Uh, okay. parking lots now, and the sale boards. I generally hit those lightly with the DA. Yeah, you got to do something. I am asking. We're going to if, if we got, if we got uh, Alabama okay. here, oh, yeah. okay, okay. You, can, you can choose whichever weapons you want. So we'll go through the number 40 hole. Um, I'm not calling you Rembrandt. I'm calling you. You want to do, he wants to chromate that. I just use a little, use a little larger drill bit and take the it to my fingers. Well, that's a. That's why I brought you the uh, countersink. That's what I do. I just oh. stick it in the hole and go. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. Come on out there. Okay. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Now, you got a vacuum, a little vacuum, and we can vacuum inside of it. Yeah, wing with. Yeah. Let me go get it.